There is only one thing you can use to replace aim, and that is prediction, or alternatively, information. The only time you even need aim is when something unexpected happens. Oh, dude, you're still not subscribed, what? But if you know what's going to happen, you can just wait. <laughs> Game sense. The tricks that I'm about to show you will enable you to easily hit more shots without requiring almost any aim. You basically just put the crosshair where it needs to be and wait. Oh, and uh, most of the clips are from the Hanzo perspective, but uh, they work for pretty much every hero. Let's start with something simple. Abusing greed. <laughs> Greedy fuck. So, since the Hanzo hit me, I know he will re-peak again as fast as possible to try finishing me off. <laughs> Especially if you're below masters, if someone gets you to low HP, they will get greedy and re-peak, no matter how risky it is. And you know, that this clip is from GM, so... Enemies will chase you if they get you to low HP, so make sure you take advantage of their greed. Next up is fear, the opposite of greed. And uh, let's watch the first clip multiple times just to make sure you understand since greed and fear are the base for all the tricks that I will show you afterwards. This is kind of like the greed clips from before, but now the roles are reversed. So after I tag Cassidy with a shot, he turns around and sees that I'm getting ready to shoot the next arrow. So he gets afraid and instinctively switches movement direction to avoid walking into my next shot. So to oversimplify it a bit, if your enemy expects you to shoot at him, you should put your crosshair on the opposite side of where he's going. So in this case, the Cassidy is moving to the left when he sees me, so I know he will try to dodge by moving to the right. Especially as a sniper, if your target sees you lining up a shot, their instinct will be to reverse their direction or run for cover. And most of the time, they are the same direction. The more advanced the trick, the harder it will be to remember it during an intense team fight. But trust me, the more you play, the more natural it will become. But yeah, uh, let's look at some simple applications of this that anyone can immediately do. Like, look at this. I just spam on the soldier's left side. <laughs> Notice how I kept my crosshair on the left side the whole time, because that's where he has to run. I might miss some shots this way, but the fact is, the only cover for the Cassidy here is the left wall. So I just keep shooting between him and the cover. Another easy application of this cover shooting is Whenever someone is behind tiny cover and you hit them once, they get scared and overcorrect to the opposite side of the cover. Like here's another example. I shoot on the right side and then I immediately shoot the left side. Greed and fear are abusable in every single fight. Like here, for example, the Zenyatta is not afraid of me because I'm busy fighting Soldier, so he gets greedy, peeking wider, moving in a straight line to get an angle on me before I die. <laughs> Never shoot the guy in front of you, shoot the guy behind the guy. This might seem like it's way too complicated for a mere human being, but luckily for us, the only thing we're even good for is having sex and hunting prey. The only thing you need to figure out is where to put your crosshair. Consider Tracer as the prey. All you need to do is think about where is your prey trying to escape. Will she run back into danger? Or will she run towards her own team? Also, the reason I put my crosshair here instead of at the right side door is because I know Tracers blink past doorways to avoid getting pre-fired. Here's another example. The Tracer is low HP, so obviously she wants to go for the health pack. So I preemptively put my crosshair there to wait for her. So just by thinking this way, I avoided having to do a crazy inhuman flick to catch the Tracer. <laughs> and I used the exact same trick here. 
Just notice how I put my crosshair to the health pack, expecting the tracer to go there. And once I realize she's going for the other health pack, I immediately chase after her, thinking about how she will go out the doorway after taking the health pack, so I position my crosshair on the doorway. Let's look at some simple hero specific tricks, and don't worry if some of these are just way too hard for you right now, just becoming aware of what is possible will help you improve a lot faster. Okay, so when you kill the Mercy's pocket, the Mercy will be a bit afraid, waiting to see if someone is camping the corpse. So don't peek right away, just wait for her to start the rest. This way, even if you miss the headshot, she can't run away from the finishing blow. She's gonna rest. Here's another example. I stay hidden after killing the Echo, waiting for the Mercy to come in for the rest. No rest. A more aim intensive trick is to put your crosshair between the Mercy and the target she's going to fly to. Haha. <laughs> the Mercy beam is a good indicator of where she's gonna fly to and from what angle. It's way easier than you think since you don't need any aim. You just have to time the shot correctly. The Ash version of this kind of prediction would be her dynamite. Hahaha, <laughs> pro tip. If an Ash throws a dynamite, she's gonna peek and shoot at it or best case scenario, stand still. Okay, let's look at some more advanced stuff. Uh, oh, and uh, let me know in the comment section if you want a full video of these kind of hero specific tips. So yeah, this trick is definitely my favorite thing to do. Awareness of uh, GMO orange. Okay, so I shot the Anna once and then just leave her to cook for a bit. Her fear turns into greed as she decides to rush for better cover since no one is shooting at her. And then I catch her with her pants down, running in a straight line. Notice how I unpeaked there for a bit. And let's do another one. Here I shoot the sonic arrow directly on the Anna to avoid the ding sound. Instead of chasing her down, I just unpeak to make her think I left, just like in the previous clip. And then I wait until she's in the middle of the open. Just because I love this trick so much, let's do one more. And notice how in this one, the trick also lets me keep her completely out of the team fight as well. <laughs> I knew she would go for the health pack if I unpeak. In Overwatch, there's just so much happening at all times that just unpeaking for a couple seconds is usually enough to make them completely forget about you. This next clip I wanted to put into the start half, but uh, it's kinda advanced and I didn't want to scare you away. But uh, this is also a good opportunity to reiterate the basics. So greedy enemies will re-peek you and possibly even chase you, whereas scared enemies will try to unpeek you, to break line of sight. Or to put it in a more simple way, scared enemies will reverse their movement direction when they expect to get shot. So this time we combine greed and fear. The Torb starts greedy, I intentionally unpeak to get him to peek wider. This also makes him very easy to hit, since he will be strafing in a straight line. I then immediately start peeking wider before he even reacts, because I know he will want to break line of sight now, since he will be afraid after taking damage. He sees me getting ready for the final blow, so he turns back to avoid it, but I just don't care. I keep spamming his left side, since that's where he eventually has to go. Hahaha, <laughs> baited. And then finally, let's check out the craziest shit. Just to kind of show you what is possible. So here I'm intentionally letting the Anna damage me, kind of testing to see how greedy she is. And then I catch the Anna nade, so I know she will peek again to try finishing me off. <laughs> that's an aim guide clip right there. 
So in this clip, the Anna knows I put the Sonic on her cover, and I will further let her know I'm holding the angle by shooting another arrow there. This way she will be too afraid to peek to heal the tank. I then quickly take one shot at the tank, she sees the tank's HP go down, I haven't shot at the corner in a while, so she peeks to heal the tank. I have paid that. And here is the classic Bliss World herding clip. Check this out, they're gonna peek right side, and then go left side to avoid getting hit. And then they just die. This is how it works. Don't forget to like and subscribe, or this worm will hunt you in your nightmares. Also, let me know in the comments if this video helped you out and what kind of content you want to see in the future.